Hey guys, Braxis here, and I'm going to be playing some Universe Sandbox 2, so let's go ahead and get started. I have a suggestion from, let me get the comment up real quick, from Topher Eze, Ease. It's spelled E-Z-E, -E, so I'm not sure how that's pronounced. Uh, unless it's some famous, like, late 80s, 90s rapper or something, but okay. Let's go ahead and uh, get started here. What he wants me to do is swap Mars and Venus around, so let's see what happens. I'm kind of curious. So, I'm going to do this the easy way, and not the most accurate way, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the game. I'm going to add Venus right here. Nope. Right there. Roughly where Mars's orbit is, and just get rid of Mars. And I'm going to do the exact same over here. I want to put Mars in Venus's orbit right here roughly and just get rid of Venus and let's just see what happens. I don't expect too much to happen. Mars might actually get a habitable temperature though so we'll be keeping an eye on that. If we go to view here we can actually bring up the zones. Mars is technically in the habitable zone even though it's in like the red region so it's kind of a warmer region but it's technically in the habitable zone. It's in the Goldilocks zone. But from the looks of it, Mars is getting quite warm. Looks like it's plateauing and actually stabilizing, I think. But it looks like we're going to have roughly in the 30 degrees here, so 35 degrees Celsius. What does that equate to in Fahrenheit? Roughly 90, I think? So an average surface temperature of 90 degrees? That's kind of a bit rough. But... Who knows, maybe be, might be able to comfortably live in the polar regions, possibly? Not really too sure, but that's what it looks like it's stapled out to, is to uh, 35. Let's uh, bring up something on Google here real quick. Let, what is 35C in Fahrenheit? 5 degrees. So 95 degrees average surface temperature. So that means on the equator, it's going to be quite warm. Maybe even up to like 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So, very, very warm on the equator of the planet, but I think it is survivable. Um, of course, that doesn't add a magnetosphere, a large iron core, atmosphere, water, or organics, or anything we need to actually survive on Mars. But at least it's in a kind of habitable temperature, even though it's quite warm. So, let's see how Venus is doing. And I don't imagine this is going to cool down very much. No, it's sitting at 226 degrees. And if we bring up Venus here, let's just pause the game. Okay, so that's quite a bit cooler than the 339 degrees that Venus normally is. So, very good. What would it take to actually cool Venus down to a comfortable temperature? Of course, that does not get rid of the toxic gases and other bad things that are on Venus, but let's see what it takes. Let's drop Venus over where Vesta is and see what that does. So here's Venus, it looks like it's stabled out to 156 degrees Celsius, so still pretty warm. Let's, uh, let's try Jupiter's orbit, roughly right here. And it is cooling down very quickly. Oh wait, it's actually plateauing. And it looks like it's going to stable out to about 7 degrees Celsius, so that's actually very survivable. And very comfortable for us. In fact, it's a little bit cooler than Earth, so... Maybe, just maybe, if it orbited around next to Jupiter and actually was habitable, I guess. Uh, of course, this is a bunch of carbon dioxide and other bad gases and stuff like that. And that's what actually makes it maintain its heat, but maybe if it had some other type of greenhouse gas that was very very uh, dense or something that we could actually breathe and not die breathing it and maybe some nitrogen and oxygen we would be able to actually survive on Venus if it was orbiting out next to Jupiter so that's very cool of course I mean we'd be crushed under the pressure but that does not mean life cannot live under very very high pressures it just means we're not adapted for that kind of pressure. So, there you go. That is that is uh, what it would take to make Venus actually get to a habitable temperature and have to orbit out. Basically, 
where Jupiter is with its current greenhouse effect. Anyways, kind of a pointless video, but just a fun little experiment. I've been getting a lot of suggestions to swap planets around ever since I did the uh, Sun and Jupiter, I believe, and Mercury and Earth. Uh, this one sounded kind of cool, just because I was kind of curious if Venus would actually cool down right there. Apparently not. Apparently it has to orbit way out where Jupiter is. But, uh, yeah. If you guys liked the video, please leave it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. It really does help. And I will see you guys in the next one.